Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is the biography of Black Sheep. Black Sheep is an American hip hop duo from Queens, New York, composed of Andres, Dre's, Vargas, Titus, and William Mr. Long McLean. The duo was from New York, but met in 1983 as teenagers in Sanford, North Carolina. Drez was who is black and Puerto Rican. They both grew up in the Astoria housing projects in Queens. By the time Drez had finished high school, he had served time in jail. This early brush with the law had convinced him not to glorify crime in his music, like other rappers that would come years and decades after him. The duo was associated with the Native Tongues Collective, which included the Jungle Brothers, a tribe called Quest, and De La Soul. After getting together in 1989, Black Sheep debuted in 1991 with the hit song Flavor of the Month and later released its first album, A Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, which gained them praise and recognition in the hip hop community for the album's unique rhythms and intelligent, often humorous lyrics. After six years together, Black Sheep disbanded in 1995, citing creative differences. While working as a DJ in New York, McLean met Mike G of the Jungle Brothers and DJ Red Alert, who encouraged him to start his own rap group. He recruited Dreads, who had grown up with, his, with him in North Carolina. Black Sheep was the first hip hop act to appear on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno at the departure of Johnny Carson. Their first official appearance as Black Sheep was on De La Soul's 1991 album, De La Soul Was Dead. Dreads was a featured on the track, Frantic of the B Word. A Wolf in Sheep's Clothing charted three times on the Billboard Hot Dance Music Club Play chart in 1992 with The Choice Is Yours and Strobe Like Honey. Black Sheep was also featured on the remix of Vanessa Williams' Work To Do. The group's relationship with this label, Mercury Polygram, allowed Dress to establish a boutique label through which he could sign his own acts. Mercury distributed the imprint, which was called One Love, through Polygram's independent label sales division rather than Polygram group distribution. However, only one full-length title was ever released. The only album by affiliated at The Legion, titled Theme Plus Echo Equals Krill from 1994. The duo's second album, Nonfiction, was released later that year. Because of virtually no promotion and a generally poor re reception, the album managed only lackluster sales. Black Sheep broke up shortly after its release. Dreads was featured on the second hint in some boy modeling school album, White People, on the track First and Then. In 2006, Dreads released an online-only album titled 8WN. Nova came under the name Black Sheep, but with Long only appearing on a few tracks on the album. 8WN stands for Women with Women with Weed with Wine with Me. According to a 2006 article on allhiphop.com, Mr. Long changed the spelling of his name from L-A-W-N-G-E to L-O-N-G. He also released a mixtape called The Class of 89 in 2006. Drez appeared on the 1990s remix of Nas's February 2007 song, Where Are They Now? In 2008, the single The Choice Is Yours was ranked number 73 on VH1's 100 Greatest Hip Hop Songs. The song was featured in a commercial for the 2010 Kia Soul. Black Sheep was also one of the first groups to parody of gangster rap when it was still in its infancy when a wolf in sheep's clothing was released in a, a lyrically over the top. You mean I'm not? It was it's, it describes a cringing detail of a dream of one of the rappers, I mean one of the members had about shooting his sister for staying in the bathroom too long and his mother for breaking his egg yolk while cooking breakfast. When he is aroused from his sleep, he tells his friends in a bewildered, almost frightened voice, I dreamed that I was hard. It's alleged that other forthcoming rap groups during that era have paved the way for black sheep, such as Cypress Hill, Naughty by Nature, Brand Nubian, and L-O-N-S, whoever the hell that is. Drez and Long are both members of the black separatist movements in the Nation of Islam and 5% Nation of Islam. Although Dress is also affiliated with the Jehovah Witness religion, according to the now defunct hip hop magazine, The Source, Dress was the Dress was to have stated, "My father is a Jehovah Witness. I listen to my father." Both Black Sheep members also claimed that seeing miserable living conditions for Black people throughout the United States made them want to reach out to the Black community 
and provide inspiration through their music. Details Magazine described Black Sheep as having their own mythology, street without gangster pretensions. I forgot to mention that their debut album, Wolves and Sheep Clothing, sold 900,000 copies and went gold. Long also played the role of producer and Dress performed as the rapper and primary lyricist. According to Billboard's magazine, Havelock Nelson, Black Sheep singles from their first album remain popular as recurrence on R&B and top 40 radio stations subsequently for three years after the release and were not likely to fade from the minds of the original singers. Listeners, the choice is yours. Spent 16 weeks on the Billboard Hot R&B singles chart and generated excitement and demand for a second album. Nonfiction revealed that Black Sheep was a deepening awareness of social issues pertaining to Black Americans. Freak Y'all calls for courage of action with such lines as, I wish my people had the heart to start a revolution. Another song, Peace to the Niggas, warns against being impressed with or seduced by violent videos. Dress told the source that Black Sheep's philosophy is elevation. We don't try to knock people over the heads, but we want them to open their eyes. Well, I remember Black Sheep from back in the day. That's why I decided to change the name of my channel because I am an old school rap and R&B fan to the heart. I wish Black Sheep the best. They continue to do what they do. All right, y'all. Thanks for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe.